الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا له من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين أمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله جل وعلا وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وما قل وكفى خير مما كثر وألها وإنما توعدون لآت وما أنتم بمعجزين The believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed this ummah, this nation by many attributes, many qualities that make this nation distinguished as they carry the guidance, the hidayah, tawheed. They are on the way of caravans, long caravans of prophets and messengers. Start with Adam alayhi salam, till Jesus, till Muhammad, final prophet and messenger, alayhim jami'an as-salatu was salam. This ummah way on the, go in the way of prophet and messenger. So they carry their qualities, the qualities of Prophets and messengers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mandate this ummah to keep on that. To keep on that blessing, this guidance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us by salah, prayers, and fasting, and being charity, zakah, and be good. When you talk, when you act, good manners, all these manners and behaviors of prophets and messengers. Allah said, Inna hada la fil ula. Indeed, that in Quran, these Sunnah and Quran in the previous books. Suhufi Ibrahima wa Musa. The books of Ibrahim and Musa. And of course, all prophets. Because Ibrahim and Musa majors, prophets and messengers. So what we have from guidance is the guidance that Allah sent to all. Allah collect that in these and blessed us by these guidance and this day. So we should learn and keep it in our manners, our actions, our behaviors, till we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without change, without getting away from Hidayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah mandate this ummah by many qualities. And among them, these qualities, they enjoining goodness and forbade evil, wrong. يَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ الْأَمْرُ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَالنَّهِيَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ Joining 
the goodness in yourself first in your family those who you have power authority over them it is a must teach yourself good and avoid bad teach yourself good manner and avoid bad manners and actions Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Holy Quran about that وَلْتَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And let there be arising from you a nation inviting to all that is good enjoining goodness enjoining what is right and forbidding what is wrong and those those will be the successful al muflihu al muflihu this is khairiyah goodness of this nation the goodness of this nation and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relate the khairiyah the goodness the righteousness of this nation by being enjoining goodness and forbade evil and wrong wrong is wrong and good is good wrong and good only allah only god only divinity say this is right and this is wrong this is good and this is bad and we should we we follow that سمعنا وأطعنا. Listen and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God. Saying subhanahu wa ta'ala about that, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhriyat linnas. Ta'muruna bil ma'roof, wa tanhawna anil munkari, wa tu'minuna billah. You are the best nation produced as an example. Best for forever, without conditions, no, there is conditions to be goodness, to be right, to be best. Wow. You are the best nation produced as an example for mankind. You, the condition for goodness of this nation, of this ummah. You enjoining what is right and forbid what is wrong and believe in Allah. When? The only one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this goodness individually and society and nation all by these three conditions to enjoy to enjoy goodness and forbid badness and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the believers al amru bil ma'ruf wa nahi 'anil munkar enjoying goodness and forbid wrong it is strong bond between believers because it's quality for individuals so believers all believers carry these quality all believers if you go to the family spouses the husband and the wife carry these so the children feed it take it from their parents and they established their own family on that. And then family with family after family, all the society and all the nation consequence for that, like that. Al-Amr bil ma'roof wa nahi ani So it is a good and a strong bond, tie between believers. Wal-mu'minuna wal-mu'minatu ba'duhum awliya'u ba'd. يأمرون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر ويقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة ويطيعون الله ورسوله أولئك سيرحمهم الله إن الله عزيز حكيم The believing men and the believing women are allies allies of one another they enjoining what is right and forbid what is wrong and establish prayer and give zakat and obey Allah and His Messenger. Those Allah will have mercy upon them. Indeed, Allah exalted in might 
and wise subhanahu wa ta'ala this quality believers as we mentioned before it is quality of the prophet muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam in the old scriptures old books gospel bible gospel and torah bible allah described that in quran surah al-a'raf the description of Prophet Muhammad in Bible, in Bible, seeing Subhanahu wa Taala, Surah Al-A'raf, "الذين يتبعون النبي الأمي الذي يجدونه مكتوبا عندهم في التوراة والإنجيل يأمرهم بالمعروف وينهاهم عن المنكر." Those who follow the Messenger, the illiterate. Unlettered Prophet Al-Ummiyya Ummiyya Al-Rasul Alayhi Salaam Salaam It is an owner It's kind of owner yani In us, in regular people Al-Ummiyya Being couldn't write Couldn't read It is kind of, you know Deficiency Must write, must read, must learn The Prophet Muhammad It is for him his owner, high quality Why? Because he learned from his Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعَلَّمَكَ مَا لَمْ تَكُنْ تَعْلَمْ Your Lord taught you what you don't know. This is number one. Number two, if he read and write, they claim, and he still claim, they claim he wrote it by his hand. And write the Quran and the word of Quran by his hand. While he doesn't. Uh, read nor write so this illiterate man brought this miracle in all fields subhanallah in language challenge very eloquent people very eloquent people in Arabia in the time of revelation of the Quran and scientific <coughs> scientific miracles and he still Quran produce year after year new scientific miracles. Allah mentioned that in the Quran, saying, "Sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu alhaq." We will indeed, we will show them our signs, our proofs in horizons and in themselves still. They know it is the truth. The Quran, it is the truth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here, the illiterate uh, man or prophet, Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi salatu salam, who they find written in what they have of the Torah and Gospel. Torah and Gospel. That's written literally in Gospel. The true gospel. We have many versions, many versions, many versions. We speak the true gospel. The true gospel. True Injil. The same true Torah. True Torah. Book of Musa. In that two books, Bible, true. Again, assure that true one. Written the quality of the final and the final prophet, the messengers. Prophet among these qualities. He is enjoining them by goodness and forbid the evil and the badness. Subhanallah. Look at these guidelines in the Quran about halal and haram. Halal and haram. Subhanallah. All what happened before collected in the Quran. Subhanallah. And Subhanallah. They knew from that just guidelines from that halal and haram that man is true prophet that's why many in his time rabbi rabbis converted and accepted islam in his time and after his time till now priests and rabbis accept islam because they refined the truth in that book and with that man Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam. So here we see 
it is high quality to carry that in your soul, in your family, your children. Check. When you go back home, ask your child, did you pray? Isha? Maghrib? Dhuh? Did you pray? Did you do sunnah? Did you recite Quran today? Did you? And ask him. Huh? Something wrong in front of eyes. Correct it. Correct it. Don't leave or close your eyes. No. Correct what is wrong. And keep children, boys and girls, especially in this such a hard environment. If we didn't learn in the house or masjid or both, it will be a critical situation in the future. Really. Many stories without pressure by loving. Teach your, your kid, your child by love. By way, mentality, way uh, that get the child accept. Accept and love. So he or she gonna follow that and be the ear, be good person in his environment around himself or herself, invite others for that. So the point start from the parents, from father and mother. Al Amr bil ma'roof wa nahi an al munkar. And be example. Don't say did you pray? Why you don't pray? Why don't pray? Don't say to him or her, don't say these bad words, curse words, while you do. We should be example for our kids, our children. This is the first step. The second step, look at them, shake their situation, especially a teenager, and their screen, the screen in their hands, what they are watching, what they are following, what they are listening to, what they chat with, all that under this word, Al-Amr bil Ma'roof, and it's mandatory. It's not optional. It is obligation for every believer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gift us by the family, children, spouses. So we're going to be asked about that, what we did do with our spouses, our family, serve them, education them, and so on. So here, Rasulullah teach us about something very critical. If we avoid enjoying goodness in our service, in our family, and forbade evil, saying, alayhi salatu salam, by him in whose hand my life is, you either enjoining good and forbid evil, or Allah will certainly soon send his punishment to you. Then you will make supplication and it will not be accepted. Subhanallah. First, punishment. You ask, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb. No response. Why? Because we avoid and get away from enjoining goodness and forbid evil. Wrong. Al Amr bil Ma'roof wa Nahi anil Munkar. Very critical very important and this it is a logical consequence mental consequence for those who follow the steps of rasul muhammad you pray you fast you support financially here and there be charity be zakat, eh, eh, eh. but come to this area unclear not strong Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam teach us the levels of al-amr bil ma'roof wa nahi anil munkar. Seeing alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever amongst you sees an evil, he must change it with his hand. If he is unable to do so, then with his tongue. And if he is unable to do so, then with his heart. And that is the weakest form of faith. Imam Muslim. So from that we learn, as the ulama 
explain and elaborate the saying rahimahumullah changing by hand for those who have power have authority have authority like father mother this has power in the family inside the family and parents parents grandparents and so on to correct behaviors to correct wrong by their hand by their hand take the device if there is something wrong huh? take decision and apply implement it and so on include that for the public the police system judge system all that stuff come under hand and the second level change by tongue talking preaching remind is colors imam media right and correct media who teach people right who teach people goodness and forbid badness we have that and that so not all media but we speak about media who teach goodness goodness and forbid badness uh, journalism and so on this is the second level the third level change by heart is for public who couldn't change by tongue change by hand so change by heart and this is the weakest uh, the Hassan mentioned form of faith as a person his actions are that inside himself but look here if you are father parent father mother now you have these uh, one and two one and two don't see something and keep it in your heart and say that is a problem said no because you have power you have authority on your children to change them don't leave that okay we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remind us with goodness and keep us in the goodness Ameen ya rabbal alameen aqulu qawli hadha إن كان من توفيق فمن الله وحده وإن كان من خلل ونقص فمني ومن الشيطان فأستغفر الله استغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صلي وسلم وزد وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب العالمين أما بعد believers الأمر بالمعروف والنهي عن المنكر it is a quality of believers in this life and for people of Jannah quality of people of Jannah those who carry this quality in their behaviors in their uh, deen in their action, their life. Allah says in the Quran, "Attaibun al-abidun al-hamidun, al-sa'ihun al-raki'un al-sajidun, al-amirun bil-ma'roof, wal-nahun an al-munkari, wal-hafidun li-hudud Allah, wa bashir al-mu'minin, wa bashir al-mu'minin." Such believers are the repentant. Taibun who repent to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The quality of people of Jannah. The repentant. The worshippers. The praisers who see praising Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The travelers for seek of knowledge of worshipping or hajj or umrah for 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 his cause, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who bow and prostrate salah in prayers. Those who enjoining what is right and forbid what is wrong. And those who observe the limits by set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hududillah. Limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And give good tidings to their believers. So good tidings, al-jannah. For those who carry these qualities and make their family under that quality 
and remind themselves being example for al amr bil ma'ruf wa nahi 'anil munkar to the people around us inside the family and outside the family the believers last point to remind you before closing to support your masjid run by your uh, donations so don't forget to support your masjid inshallah we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of the reminder to forgive us ameen ya rabbal alameen to pardon us ameen ya rahman rahimin we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to teach us what benefit us in this life and next life ameen ya rabbal alameen allahumma aghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit ala al haqq aqdamana wa ansurna ala man adana ya rabbal alameen nas'aluka ridaka wal janna wa na'udhu bika min sakhatika wal nar ya aziz ya ghaffar اللهم خذ بنواصينا إليك أخذ الكرام عليك تب علينا توبة ترضيك وترضى بها عنا يا رب العالمين عافنا واعف عنا وعلى طاعتك أعنا ومن شر ونفوس خلقك سلمنا يا رب العالمين اللهم إن عبيدك بنو عبيدك بنو إمائك نواصينا بيدك ماض فينا حكمك عدل فينا قضاؤك نسألك باسمك الذي إذا سئلت به أجبت وإذا استرزقت به رزق وإذا استرحمت به رحمت أن تغفر لنا ذنوبنا وترحمنا وأن ترزقنا وأن تجبر كسرنا يا رب العالمين وأن تجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا وذهاب همنا وغمنا وحزننا يا رب العالمين اللهم خذ بنواصينا إليك أخذ الكرام عليك يا رب العالمين لا تخرجنا من هذا المقام إلا وقد غفرت ذنوبنا وسترت عيوبنا وجبرت كسرنا وجعلتنا في عبادك الصالحين يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعلنا في هذه الساعة وفي تلك الساحة من الذين قل أشهدكم يا ملكة أني قد غفرت لهم اللهم لا تخرجنا من هذا المقام إلا وقد غفرت ذنوبنا وسترت عيوبنا وجبرت كسرنا وكتبتنا عندك في الصالحين يا رب العالمين بمحض كرمك وجودك وإحسانك يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين عافنا واعف عنا وعلى طاعتك عنا اللهم كن المسلمين مصدعفين في كل مكان يا رب العالمين في كشمير وفلسطين وسوريا واليمن وفي كل مكان يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين لم لم شعث هذه الأمة اللهم لم لم شعث هذه الأمة اللهم لم لم شعث هذه الأمة واحد كلمتهم يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة